and we are live i believe Yay. so yes Yay. yes we are all right sweet hi sweet all right hello everyone and welcome to uh our cards against humanity this is gonna <laughs> and winter yeah. 2020 yeah. review yeah it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be fun uh considering this is the very first time i've ever actually played cards against humanity in a serious fashion unlike the mock game we played last night <laughs> Wait, what? You've never played Cards Against Humanity before? I've oh never. B before we had our little mock game last night, I had never played Cards Against Humanity, no. Wait, how have oh you lived your life? Without I any don't understand. <laughs> Without, oh! yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> to be fair, this is more of a, a an adult friend party game. Uh, oh, so he so... doesn't have any adult friends. I've been an adult for like mm. 15 years. <laughs> well, you know what? Do your friends more prefer like Pokemon and um... and the Yu Gi Ohs? We could have played Yu Gi Oh, but Alex said no. He didn't want to get. Wait, you don't? Oh, wait, Yu Gi Oh would be so much harder if you don't know the rules. <laughs> exactly. There are rules. Yeah. No, you just have don't to. Don't you summon just a throw cards monsters. out? Like I summon Exodia, and then you win, right? You yeah. just slap the person on the face, and then you win. That's how you do it? Oh, I mean, I could do that. I mean, I'd love to slap you across the face. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> wow. Get a room, you two. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to be doing Cards Against Humanity, and we're going to be doing like a review of the 2020 winter anime season. Um, so uh, show is actually going to be starting out as the first judge, and the way we're doing this is sort of a round-robin thing, and the person who is the judge will be the one that discusses the very first show. So show, what show do you want to talk about? Well, first, let me flip over my deck. So, that's your card. Okay. What we got? Okay. Oh, isn't the, the judge is supposed to one that's read it out, right? Oh, okay. Introducing extreme baseball. It's like baseball, but with... I already, in my mind, I fill it in with balls. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna start talking about Chihaya Furu, the third season, because no one else here has watched it. Who um, wants to watch a, a freaking thing about cards, right? I know, right? I mean, people who play with cards are losers. <laughs> God. Oh. Okay, so let me randomize. Um, but yeah, it was the third season of a show that I really liked. Uh, when I first watched it, the second season, which was the previous one, was like seven years ago. So it's Holy been a long shit. time. Yeah, so let me read this. It's been a while. Is it the same? Is it the same studio though? Like seven yes. years later, but it's still it's... Madhouse. Yeah, well, it looks the same. The That's animation. Hilarious. Wait, Jack so Crew introducing is Madhouse. Mm hmm. It doesn't look Madhouse, honestly, uh, but it is. <laughs> That's crazy. Introducing the stream base. Baseball, it's like baseball, but with assless chaps. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. It's like baseball, but with my vagina. I like my vagina better. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I win. With an assless chap. The chaps, but assless. I... What's a chap? I don't... Th those, those pants, those biker pants that people wear. Okay. There we go. You should know this. I'm not fashionable. This is your own uh, fault. You know what? You're right. Oh. So did you actually enjoy... Uh, the third season of Chihaya Furu? Honestly, it's been so long that my, uh, what do you call it? My standards have gotten higher, and mm. I didn't really enjoy it as much. I rated the first two seasons a nine when I watched it seven years ago. Mm. I rated the third season a six. <laughs> that's a huge dip. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a big difference. Because it's like, I like it from the sports aspect where they describe the actual game. But the characters themselves Holy. are super shallow and boring and annoying. And this season was very character-focused, so I didn't enjoy it that much. What's the source material for the manga, Chihaya? right? Manga, manga, yeah. You read the manga at all? or No. Just... <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. I was wondering, like, maybe the quality in the manga dropped or something. but No, I think it's more like I was newer to anime back when I watched the first season, so I had less standards. But And now <laughs> I have more standards. So I'm like, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna still watch the fourth season if it comes out, but I won't enjoy it as much. I, I know that you've for like a couple years now have tried to get me to watch it. Maybe I'll finally watch it. I don't know. I, I mean, all I know about it is that 
they play card games or something. That's all I know. It's basically a shoujo sports anime. But with cards? But with cards. Yeah. But it's the card games on motorcycles. It's a, it's a competitive sport. <laughs> oh. They go out of their way to describe how physically strenuous it the sport is. So. Okay. Sure. I mean, okay. <laughs> you know what? It's like, you know how you have to, like, hold a position? And if you hold the position for a long time, like, when you're stretching, it's very strenuous. It's kind of like that, because, like, they're standing well, in a certain position for the whole thing. I was day. also going to say, like, you know, with card games, like, if you've ever played poker or watched, like, championship mm -hmm. poker, it is very stressful. And there is a lot of, like, mental stren strain that goes along with playing this game. Oh, no. It's... This game is way more physical because you don't have time to react. It's not turn-based. It's no. um, Twitch reaction. So whoever reacts the fastest Is this the matching the poem thing? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so God, you have to have harder. strong, like, a strong Fast arm to go, a strong and, yeah. upper body. Um, and you have to keep, like, swinging hard every, like, mi uh, I don't know, every 30 seconds. So it can yeah. get very strenuous. Someone someone once described Shihaya Furu to me, like, watching someone do upper body workouts while playing Hanefuda. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so is that accurate. Because <laughs> Hanefuda is a really fast-paced card game. Mm -hmm. huh. But it is really fun, like, hearing them describe how to play the game. It's really easy to follow. Um, so I would recommend it if you're interested in, like you know, no random games and learning the rules of them and seeing how competitive players play them. It's interesting in that way. Hi, Nisam. Oh, Welcome hello. to the stream. Okay, so the next card we got here, since I'm the judge, is I never truly understood blank until I encountered blank. Oh, there's two? Yes, you had yeah. to choose two. Yeah, so the first one would be the first blank, the second one would be the second blank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since since oh, I'm the judge oh. and it's actually my turn to talk about a show, I want to talk about something that both uh, Sho and John uh, have very differing opinions about, and that's Somali and the Forest Spirits. <laughs> okay. I personally, I loved it. I thought the art was fucking amazing. I thought the uh, the the story was kind of cute. Somali is cute as fuck, um, and. I like the like the fatherly Gollum character too, and I kind of agree with John. Like the first few episodes are really uh, wondrous and like what what the fuck is going? This is kind of boring, but I grew to like it. Like after the fifth episode on, it was really great. I loved it, but I know John, you think it's very boring. So, <laughs> to preface all of that, I gave Somali and the Forest Spirit. I read the manga before the anime came out, like a year before the anime was even announced, and I gave it a fair shot of like. 20 something chapters or maybe 19 i honestly don't remember but i gave it a fair shot is my point and i really like the background i i like all the fantasy elements it's really cool but the story in the very beginning is very boring there's really no story it's kind of just new monster of the week or new location of the week yeah and that's cool and all like i like it but i need more substance and i watched the first three episodes of the anime and it followed the manga it didn't follow it one for one, but it has the same vibe of the beginning. So I was like, oh, so it's just going to be a whole monster of the week. Look at Smalley do some cute things. And that's it. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, well, I don't really care for that. And But the anime does look good. I give it that. Yeah, like the character the character designs and are really creative and the art is fucking beautiful, especially the background art. All right, let me read yep. this out real quick. I never fully, I never truly understood blank until I encountered blank. I never truly understood a botched circumcision until I encountered whipping it out. I never what? truly, I never truly understood running out of semen until I encountered Nicolas Cage. All right, Nicolas Cage wins yeah. this bitch. That's funny as fuck. I know. <laughs> All right, John. Oh, Do you God. have anything to say right. about Somali's show? Oh, I really enjoyed the character arc of the golem. Hmm. It made me uwu. It made you uwu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you find someone else to call you daddy? Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got here, John? Oh, yeah. All right. Aww. So what is George W. Bush thinking about right now? If oh anyone boy. has 9-11, they automatically win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Just putting it out there. Bush did 9-11. Other dank memes below. Yeah. But, uh, all right, since I'm Judge, I guess I'll talk about a show that I'm pretty sure... Sh- oh, wait, Chinoda. Chinoda watched it, and he didn't like it either. Eh. So uh, I want to talk about Science Types Fell in Love. Okay. Uh, this is a very stereotypical hetero rom-com. Um, it's kind of cute. It's kind of funny, but it's very bland. You know, like, the only different aspect of a different rom-com is that these focus on science types. And they're exaggerated, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Exaggerated stereotypes. Hmm. So, if you want to watch a meh rom-com, it's just kind of like filler. Turn off your brain and fucking just watch it. Then, sure, go ahead. But I can't really recommend it as a good (laughs) rom-com. So, that's all I really can say about it. So, you want to hear something funny? What? I binged the entire show last night. (laughs) Oh, you did? I did. Oh, my. Um and I really enjoyed it. Oh, oh no. god! Because it's, it's it's got a very like niche taste. It's, it's like niche. it's like watching it's like watching very socially awkward nerds try to find romance, and it's like I can relate to this. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it, but like as a rom com, like I love shoujo and I love rom coms, right? Mm. Like that's just my thing. I'm all about that. But as a rom com goes, it's very niche. And that's the problem with it. Like, it's not very yeah. relatable, and it mm. over-exaggerates a lot of rom-com aspects, makes it oversaturated. I'm just like, ugh, whatever, dude. Like, I get it. Oh, no, the misunderstanding parts. Oh, the holding the hands and doing the... <gasps> I love I love the Kabe Don thing when they do the wall. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? That's such, bull- that's such stupidity. I can't believe it's... you like that. It, no, I liked when they did it in Science Types fell oh, in love okay. because yeah. of how stupid and over the oh, top. Oh, I see. I, think, I, think, I don't think he's actually saying that he likes the idea of it. He likes how over the top it was done in the show. I see. Yeah. So it, it did a good job with that because it's more like a – if it was more satirical and not kind of trying to be a serious rom-com, I probably would have enjoyed it more. But it's quite obviously just an over-exaggerated rom-com for socially awkward people. Hmm. So, yeah, you know, if you're if you're that type of person and you like listening to our podcast for some reason, <laughs> go ahead, check it out. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> what is George W. Bush thinking about right now? Destroying Dick Cheney's last Horcruxes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is Bush thinking about right now? The black half of Barack Obama. That doesn't. Mm, they I guess they are friends. But Dick Cheney destroying Dick Cheney's <laughs> last four <Yes! work> <laughs> That's. It was. It was close to the nine eleven joke, so it wins. All right. Yay! Oh, thank you. Um, all right. So... Show. While the United States raced the Soviet Union to the moon, the Mexican government funneled millions of pesos into research on what? Oh, boy. Okay, that's a long card. It took me a second to understand what they were saying. Yeah, so I'm going to be talking about uh, Haikyuu, oh, which uh, Alex refuses to watch. I No, I did not say <laughs> that. All at once, and he's going to wait like five months, clearly netflix's release schedule is the type of schedule that caters to alex because <laughs> i just want to watch the, airing i fucking want to watch the whole thing in one go uh-huh well let me tell you that this season of haikyuu nothing happened it was complete filler and i fucking loved every fucking second of it oh but the, the question ha- you have to ask is is he not a still best boy he is. Uh, <laughs> they gave him so many great expressions and like reactions. Oh my god, it's just a joy to watch them do all these trivial things. Uh, I could watch Haikyuu and watch these boys do like the stupidest things for like five million. So I, 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 I heard oh, so good. Someone, so I heard someone, and I, I can't remember who it may have been. Someone on the podcast say that they equate. Uh, this like first half of this new season of Haikyuu to like a breather after the insanity of the third season. <laughs> sure. 
I'm, I was just okay, curious think, whether you thought that was accurate or not. I don't think, I don't think anime needs breathers, what? especially not 12 episodes yeah, long Yeah, 12 episode breathers. long breathers. So I don't support that. But I do, I still just, I love the show because I just love the characters and I love watching them do whatever the fuck they're doing. Well, so. if you hate 12 episode long breather episodes, why do not ever watch anything past like episode 100 of Naruto. Honey, I was never going to. Okay, let me randomize these. <laughs> Do you see how in the chat it says, I promise it's random? Yeah, I oh, know, no, I, I can, saw that. There's a flip button too, okay. Yes. Okay, while the United States raised to the Soviet Union to the moon, the Mexican government funneled millions of pesos into research on an oversized lollipop. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move your hand. <laughs> While the United States raised the Soviet Union to the moon, the Mexican government <laughs> funneled millions of pages into research on sperm whales. These are the most shit. <laughs> <sighs> At least this makes sense. Okay. Yes! <laughs> it didn't make any sense, but whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can take your victory All or right. your judge's shit. Alright, um. Let me pull a card out here. Oh, do never it. mind. John will do it for me. <laughs> Thank you, John Sama. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure blank for all eternity. Mm. All right. So the show I want to talk about is Magia Record, which was the sequel to the Madoka Magica uh, movies. And um, so a lot of people went into this, I think, hoping that it was going to be it was going to match the like oh my god what's going on like genre definingness of the original Madoka Magica and mm -hmm. they were very disappointed because it didn't um which you know whatever uh I personally enjoyed it I thought it was a good sequel to the Rebellion movies um if you haven't seen the Rebellion movies and you try to watch this um you're going to be really confused as to why certain people are still alive uh, um. <laughs> so was this a TV? Yes, it was a TV anime. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and it's getting a second season. It was actually announced uh, right after its final episode aired that it's getting a second season. So, so is this another cool. uh, filler type sequel? I, <laughs> like I, I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say so. I think it it, <laughs> just, it builds off of what happened in the Rebellion movies. It actually feels like there's there's legitimate consequences for what happened and like Madoka doing what she did, and it's almost mm -hmm. turned like being a magical girl into an industry. Wait, I thought the Magic Record was based off of a mobile game. It's it not. is based off of a mobile game, oh, which is kind God. of a, supposed to be a sequel to the Rebellion movies. That's kind of weird. It is weird, but I, I think a lot of people just went into it with the wrong mindset, thinking it was going to be this mind-blowing thing like the original Madoka Magica was, and it just wasn't. Hmm. But I still think it was a good sequel. Okay. Um, also, yeah. you get Baby Cube, which is cute as fuck. <laughs> But Kyube did everything wrong. Kyube did nothing wrong. Yeah, right. I just watched the original Madoka Magica because it was all hyped up. And but at this point in my life, I don't get, I don't care. I'm not gonna watch Magia Record. <laughs> eh, I don't blame you. Uh, um, in the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure drinking responsibly for all eternity. Or in the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure an asymmetric boob job for all eternity. Well, I can tell you which one I would feel like is more hell. It's drinking responsibly. I <laughs> made my first win. God damn. Oh, freaking Irishmen. <laughs> I saw that coming a mile away, dude. Holy shit. All right, John. Oprah's book of the month is blank for blank. A story of hope. Blank for Oh, blank. no. I hate multiple line cards because it's hard to always, like, make something funny. But whatever, right? <clears throat> anyway. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, the other thing I watched this season that also no one else watched but me and Shinoda is Darwin's Game. Mm. Now, I remember touting saying Darwin's Game is bullshit and it sucks. All right. I am here to take back my words <laughs> because just like Somali, uh, I read the manga for Darwin's Game before it got an anime and I read it up to like chapter 20 something. And I stopped and was like, this sucks. This is stupid. 
I don't really like where this is going. But once I heard it had an anime coming out, I was like, okay, let's go check it out. So I check it out. Uh, I keep reading the manga, or I read Reddit again, you know. And at, at chapter 29 or chapter 31, somewhere around there, it gets fucking hype. It gets really good. Like, I, I was super interested. I was like, yo, I can't, I couldn't stop reading it. I stayed up and read it all the way to its curtain chapter, which is like 80 or something right now. And <laughs> holy shit, it got good. All right. Um, the anime it cuts a bunch of corners compared to the source material. There's a bunch of like, um, how do I say this? There's like a bunch of plot things that happen in in the manga, obviously, that don't happen in the anime. So it doesn't really make sense if they decide in season two, because Darwin's game's probably getting a season two. It left on a, hopefully we have a season two kind of cliffhanger. So hopefully it gets a season two, but it's, the anime is meh, very mediocre. Like a solid 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, mainly because I know they skipped a bunch of stuff that, if they decide to make a season 2, will not make sense at all. But, uh, overall, the story is the same. Uh, the main points are still there. And the first 12 episodes of Darwin's Game, is it 12? 11? It's 12, everything I except think. Everything prior to the last episode is that boring stuff that I was talking about that made me not want to read the manga. But the last episode is what like, it's the turning point where it gets hype. And I'm so frustrated that it's not a 24-episode uh, anime because it gets really hype at the end, and you're like, wait, what? Hold on now. Hold on. So if it gets a second season or additional seasons, you would say it's worth picking up and watching? Oh, hell yeah, dude. If it okay. gets a season two, fucking go read the manga, go watch season one, and then watch season two. Because season two is where all the cool shit happens. Well, there you go. So... Yeah, it's, I was surprised by it, honestly. I, I went in watching it thinking it was just going to be as bad or thinking it was going to be bad, but thanks to the anime coming out, it made me re-pick up the manga, and I actually quite enjoy it now. It's like a it's like a Battle Royale type story, right? Yes and no. So I can't, I don't want to say anything else because it'll ruin like what happens later, but yes, it centers around that in the beginning. Okay. Like, that's, yeah, it... It seems very atypical and boring, but just give it a shot. Go read the manga, and you will not be disappointed. I, I think Sho honestly would like it. <laughs> what is it even about? It's about superpowers, man. Killing oh. people. Duh. So interesting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oprah's book of the month is The American Dream for a Crucifixion. <laughs> A story of hope. Okay. That's Alex's. Oprah's book of the month is Snorting Coke Off a Clown's Boner for Hospice Care. A story of hope. Yeah, hospice and coke, man. <laughs> Yay! I don't, I don't deserve that, but thank you. It it makes more sense than this American Dream one. Yeah, which I actually get that makes one more at sense. all. No, his actually makes sense, logically. Why? I just didn't like it, because I knew it was Alex's. Yeah. Oh. I and that's why we have to randomize. I'm not American to get. So I believe it's my turn. You yes. won't believe these 15 hilarious bl blank bloopers. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Um, so I'm gonna talk about the best anime of the season of Pet, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> which which Alex doesn't agree with me on. Um, I thought the premise was really interesting. It's about telepathic uh, mafia where they hypnotize people and they like uh, change people's memories in order to do their mafia, whatever they want to do with their mafia life. Um, and I thought it was really like cool. There's like a lot, a lot of intrigue and backstabbing. And uh, I really liked how they didn't, um, you know, they didn't tell you everything. They didn't spoon feed you the information. You had to think for yourself to figure out what was going on, which really helps um, in a genre such as like spy, f spying and like mafia, you know, you're, it's supposed to be confusing because oh. the characters are confused. So um, I really like that. What, John? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did you think about it? 
uh, me. Uh, so I have to say I was too harsh on my initial uh, <gasps> like interpretation of the show because on, on our Discord server I mentioned that I gave the show a six. I watched the last four episodes. Like it, I binged the last four episodes because I uh-huh. kind of got behind on it, but. Uh-huh. I when I, the, when I watched them, I was actually really upset about something else. So it really oh. goes to show that my mindset kind of played a part in my you know feeling about I the see. show. So I actually went back and rewatched his last four episodes two days ago, uh-huh. and I ha- I have re-rated it at an eight. <gasps> out Yay! Of 10. Thank you, Alex. Like I thought, like they were really creative and interesting. Like the powers that they have and how they interact with each other. I thought it was a really fun watch. The only problem yeah. is that it has a read the manga ending. It does. And... That That's the only thing that keeps me from rating it yeah. any higher. Yeah, I can't rate it like that high. And it may, that. maybe it gets a second season. I don't know. I would hope so. Cause the manga is not translated. <laughs> so now, let's, wait, uh-huh. wait, so I had, I had a question about that. Uh huh. Does it have really good music? No. No. Nice. Yes, it does. The OP and ED are so good. Yeah, the oh! OP. I, yeah, the OP and ED are good, but I wouldn't say that like the, the, the score is the show, very yeah, memorable. Very no. Good. And my other question is: Is it action oriented or not? Like, is it? No, more it's more of a backstabbing um, and like double crossing and stuff like that. Okay, like cloak and dagger kind of shit. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I might just check out the OP and ED then. <laughs> okay, the idea are very good. Um, okay, so you won't believe these fifteen hilarious cutting bloopers. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't know how that's funny. You won't believe these fifteen hilarious what Jesus would do bloopers. <laughs> that was more funny, honestly. I don't know. Yes, none of them. Are I don't funny, know what this honestly. Means. At least I don't this kind of makes sense. Nothing really made sense to me. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a throwaway. <laughs> Oh my god, Alex with the religious humor. Yeah, Jeez. I know. I've been a Catholic like this you, whole time. It's like, it's like you run a church. I know, it is like I run a church. Alright, well since it's my turn, I the show I'm going to talk about is Seven Deadly Sins Season 3, so brace yourselves. Wait, oh, read geez. the card first. Alright, I will. <clears throat> Heed my voice, mortals. I am the god of blank, and I will not tolerate blank. That ought to be good. But yeah, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Studio Dean, fuck you. <laughs> fuck Studio Dean. My God. they they. I, I have never seen a studio fuck up so badly. John, I know you didn't actually watch the entire season, but you watched yeah. the fight. You watched the fight watched between the... Melodius and yeah. uh, uh, Escanor. So, I watched the climax of the arc, and it was so bad. Now, Boy. you also have read the manga, right? I have also read the manga. So up you to know that how point. hype this fight is supposed to be. Yeah, the hype is supposed to be. It was so fun waiting. I was like waiting. I remember waiting for this ep- this chapter to release so I could see the the es- like what it's all escalated up to. Like the fucking melodious and e- es- Escanor. Escanor has Escobar. Escobar. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. He somehow makes it into there in Seven Deadly Sins. He's the cocaine sin, I yeah, guess. Yeah, the, the sin of cocaine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Escanor and uh, Melodius fight. It was super fun waiting for it. Just like in the beginning, I remember thinking about like the Melodius fights that I'd see in the beginning. And it's super fun. But holy shit, man. It's like the voice acting is lame. The music is lame. The, the voice actors about... sound like they're fucking bored while they're dubbing this. Yeah, like everything about it just feels underwhelming. And it it's just... It's sad. It, it is, is really sad. It's sad. It, con- considering how good the first, you know, two seasons were. I mean, I personally liked them. Um, it's just, it's so sad. And then, of course, this is just another example of Studio Dean taking over a franchise and then fucking it up. God yeah. damn, Studio Dean. <laughs> Girl, I dropped this season fucking five minutes into the first episode. I wouldn't blame <laughs> anyone because it I looks like bones. shit from the word go. God damn. Fuck you, Studio Dean. Uh, All right. Heed my voice, mortals. I am the god of pussy, and I will not tolerate Italians. (laughs) Heed my voice, mortals. I am the god of estrogen, and I will not tolerate dick fingers. (laughs) 
All right, I gotta go with the slightly racist one on this. Oh, God damn it! The racism wins. Of course, <laughs> of course, you'd go with the racist one. God. <laughs> Gotta use cheap, racist humor against this motherfucker. All right, what we got here? All right. <clears throat> when I pooped, what came out of my butt? Oh, God. Oh my God. If you if someone puts poop, they win. That's the <laughs> only thing I will find acceptable. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, the next show I guess I can talk about is my best show of the season for my watch, which was only five shows, Isekai Quartet 2. Oh, God. Oh my God. When that's the best show of the season, you know. It's the yeah, you season. know it's a shitty season. <laughs> <laughs> now, Isekai Quartet Season 2, not as good as Season 1. Uh, season 1 was a lot better. I fucking hate Shield Hero. He doesn't have much of a talking role, and Naofumi and... Um, Bird girl, don't remember her name. Philo? 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 Yeah. Raptalia and Philo talk more than Naofumi. Naofumi has like literally five fucking lines in season two. If only the same can be said <laughs> for his actual show. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed Isekai Quartet too. It's just as ludicrous as season one. And they uh, they added a little uh, jab where um, Seiya and Restarte from Kasha's Hero, it, they make a little, en like, little appearance and i was like yo there's the other show that i said was gonna be in here and i thought it was cool uh other than that yeah it's i mean it's a freaking 10 minute show man you can binge watch all of it in like two hours it's getting a third season and it got a third season because it's pretty popular i'm assuming that means um, cautious hero is gonna be in the next season i i think that this is just a ploy to get every single isekai anime ever in a single show i mean that's the point <laughs> like <laughs> But I'm fine with that. That's cool. You know, it's more stuff. It's just, it's comedy. And honestly, it entertained me the most out of all these shows. I didn't even but... pick it up because I hate Shield Hero that much. <laughs> so you don't even read the source for Shield Hero. How can you hate it as much as I do? Come I don't on, know. Man. That's that's a good question. <laughs> I don't understand how you can hate a show more than me who has actually read the damn thing. A lot <sighs> of things about Alex don't make sense. <clears throat> Yes. You're not when wrong. I pooped, what came out of my butt? Puppies! Teenage pregnancy. Gotta say. I like the puppies one a lot. It makes me kind of like smile. But it doesn't make sense. And also, poor puppies. Puppies should not be coming out of your butthole. Teenage pregnancy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is called Cards Against Humanity, not Cards Against Niceness. Uh... Just, go, I don't want to imagine puppies coming out of anyone's butthole. Mm, tonight we will have sex, and afterwards, if you'd like a little bit of... Oh, boy. <laughs> now, puppies would have been great there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about Toilet-Bound Hanako-kun, which I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's watched this. No, this, no, uh... remember. <gasps> I gave it, like, two episodes. Oh, you did? Oh yeah, yeah then you hated it because you don't like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Actually, why did you? Why didn't you like it? Uh, because after watching, no, I oh, watched no three plot. episodes of it. Yeah, no plot. It's literally oh, monster of the week. Oh, I really same didn't reason you hate Somali. Because <laughs> you're so... such an un... you're such a tasteless cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tasteless. I'm the one who's tasteless because I such want an a story. uncultured swine. Uh, yes, yeah. not all about the plot. Sometimes it's about the P L O T. And by PLOT, I mean her thick bags. <laughs> nah, whatever. Oh my god. They weren't cute enough for me to be engrossed in the show. So basically the entire show is a mystery about um, the character of Hanako kun and who he was when he was alive. Um, which I found really interesting because I found his character really interesting. It's and fucking uh, Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter. <laughs> but... <laughs> My biggest issue is that it has a, the hugest read the manga ending in the fucking world. At the end of the show, you don't know, you still don't know anything about, um, what's his face? Anako? Who flipped this over? I'm not I ready. Did. <laughs> He's not ready. Um, yeah, you, at the end of the show, you don't know, uh, anything, or you don't know enough to be satisfied about Hanako kun, even though the whole point of the show was to learn about him. So, I mean, 
it was a good start of the story because I'm interested, but you didn't actually give me anything. So I'm going to... I'm gonna be reading the manga like hundred percent because I need to know. <laughs> I need to know. See, they they uh, fooled you. Also, I really liked the uh, character design. Um, just like the art style, it was really nice. And surprisingly, like most of the show was basically a PowerPoint because they had no animation budget, but <laughs> it still looked good. Like they still made it work. So, props to them. I mean, um, I liked the designs and I liked the coloring and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's it's but it's just your run of the mill monster of the week. Like I don't care about your plot. I don't really care about your characters. No way. Why should I really watch it? Just to watch some stills of pretty pictures. Like yeah, okay. pretty pictures. I mean, you can I do like, the same okay. thing with the flip book. The MC yeah. girl was cute, and the MC boy was interesting. I want to know more about him. You didn't even get to the part where like you see more about him. I think you did. I don't know. Whatever. I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know more. No, I gave it three episodes. That's the anime limit. I need to know. Wait, how much do you? Okay, how much do you know about him? What do you know Nothing. about Hanako-kun? Nothing. Fuck off! I know you know something. <laughs> you must know something. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, tonight we will have sex, and afterwards, if you'd like a little bit of going around punching people, tonight we will have sex, and afterwards, if you'd like a little bit of crippling debt. Oh, that's funny. I like this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crippling debt always wins. Yay! All right. Clean up. Give. Oh, we got here. <clears throat> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of blank has denied your request for blank. Well, so John already has one ready to go. <laughs> Uh, all right, what, what show am I going to talk about? Okay, I'll talk briefly about Nekabara. Um, it's a show that I really look forward to this season. Um, and it's surprisingly wholesome given its source material, which is kind of surprising. In the same season where we got Interspecies Reviewers, which was lewd as fuck, we got an, an actual anime based on an Arage, which was wholesome. That is extremely surprising to me, considering the OVA was, it was kind of wholesome, but also, like, it was, like, your stereotypical, yeah. Yeah, like, the, like, the, mm, yeah. <laughs> that you knew it came from Arrow, Arrow stuff, like, yeah, obviously, but I didn't watch the, uh, the anime because it's been so long, and I really, honestly, don't care. I mean, the, the character <laughs> designs are still cute. I will say one thing, going to, like, a full series and not, like, just a fan-funded OVA has done has made the animation a lot cleaner and nicer. Okay. Um, but, I mean, the, the character designs are still, like, the character designs from the game. They're really cute. And uh, it's just, it's, it's just, it was surprised. I was expecting there to be like actual edgy scenes in this, like not full on sex scenes, obviously, but I was expecting there to be some edgy stuff in it. And there are times they they make some off color jokes from time to time, but by and large, the show is quite wholesome given its source material. All right, That's cool. We, we I'll probably watch this? it. I already randomized it. All right, let me flip. I've been working in the background and doing everything. All right, <clears throat> I'm the editor. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the Office of Cybernetic Enhancements has denied your request for anal beads. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the Office of Blowjobs for Everyone has denied your request for vegetarian <laughs> options. <laughs> All right, I got to go with the anal beads on this one. Damn it. That was, I knew that, that was, was a good both one. really good. <laughs> All right. I like this one. I liked your one, John. I know, because it makes more sense. Because of meat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do double entendres. No one gets my comment. That was really good. This app is basically Tinder, but for if anyone puts babies, they win. Ew, <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, okay. God. All right. <clears throat> so I guess I'll talk about Plunderer. Um, Error. I read this, and... I was hoping it would turn out well. Uh, the anime, no, did not turn out well. And it hasn't ended. It's still airing. I believe it. it's a two-core anime. Yeah, it's a 24-episode anime. Yeah, so uh, right now they're at the part where in the manga where I read to, it got interesting. So it's good that they're doing that. Um, it, I'm, I'm happy it has 24 episodes, but goddamn, the first 10 episodes or so, basically the entire first half of the anime, 
is pretty bad. It's it's overly lewd. It's not as lewd in the manga for some reason, but in the anime, they made it a lot looter than it originally is. Mm. And it's just, it's basic. Like, the animation isn't crazy good. Pictures aren't crazy good. It's not crazy fluid. It's not crazy sound effects, stuff like that, you know? It's a very mediocre anime. And that's a shame because the manga is, it's not amazing. It's not does something it, does it at least like, have oh, a good premise? Uh, the premise is interesting, yes. Okay. And was the second half... With the counters? Yes. Yeah, this is the one with the counters. I was looking forward to this, and I watched the first episode, and I'm like, this nope. is really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a very poor adaptation, in my opinion. Uh, it's But even then, like the source material isn't something I'm like, put everything down and go read it right now anyway. But it's still enjoyable. Hmm. And it's just a shame that the first ten episodes are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's really a shame. You're gonna flip but these I'm over. Still gonna, I'm still gonna. Oh yeah, did you randomize it? Yes, See, it's been randomized. Yes. Thank you. I do it myself anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a shame Plunderer isn't as good as I thought it'd be. But honestly, I, I thought about how it would be adapted for the first half, and it did at least meet my expectation of that it wasn't going to be good. <laughs> mm. So it's eh. <clears throat> All right, this app is basically Tinder, but for Two midgets shitting into a bucket. Um, okay. This app is basically Tinder, but for stuffing a child's face with fun dip until he starts having fun. <laughs> what? Oh my god, these are both terrible. <laughs> We're both terrible people. Uh, stuffing the chick. Yay! Face with fun that one. <laughs> Two midgets shitting to a bucket is not a good app idea. I'd beg to differ. <laughs> Well, that's I'm I'm not oh, into it. Yeah, it's it's show's term. I'm pretty sure my app idea would have a larger market. You know what? Maybe. <sighs> okay. What would grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? Mm, this is a good setup. So I'm gonna talk about Utitama, mm. which that's is a cat one. Yes. Oh my uh. god. So it's a spin off of the main series where they are literally like pixel dogs like the most basic art possible <laughs> like i could draw it on paint and they're dogs <laughs> the actual dogs and the dogs are like whatever having their own life but um in the spin-off they turn into anime boys and they still act like dogs and cats and it's so fucking adorable <laughs> they like now... scratch themselves I did like watch episode one because you did say it was cute. And I was like, okay, I, I need to see some cuteness, right? Because I don't discriminate when it comes to cute. It could be cute boys, uh -huh. cute girls, cats, uh -huh. cute dogs, whatever. Uh huh. Character designs, super cute. Yeah. However, <gasps> it's still boring to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of I will admit it's kind of boring. But um, you're right. You were right. They are cute. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, like, the main cat boy and the... And his best dog boyfriend, they like cuddle each other, and it's so cute. Yeah, this is uh, obviously a yaoi bait type of show. Yes. <laughs> but man, I, I wonder why you liked his... it so much. And there's like there's uh there's a type for everyone. You know, you have your show to cats, and your show to dogs, and you have your daddy dogs, and you're yeah. like, mm. and there's it's just everything. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you every... need—a show and a daddy. That's all you need. <laughs> they have every flavor of Fujoshi in it, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Anyways, it's like John said. There's not much plot. It gets kind of boring, but they're cute and they act cute. So honestly, I was expecting more fan art, but there's not much. <laughs> but really? um, yeah, that it was just a—it was just a nice show. Um, turn your brain off, fall asleep to show that I like. Yeah, I gave it. I think I gave it like a six or a seven or something. Anyways, oh yeah, it's my turn. I have to. It is my turn, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I am talking about my own shit. <laughs> okay. What would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? Wiping her butt. That is disturbingly <laughs> appropriate. What would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? My relationship status. Um. This is disturbing, but not charming. This can be both. So I will give you this. Wow. Yes. 
Yes. How uh, dare you relationship shame me? You know what's funny? Right when I saw that relationship one, I just knew it was Alex anyway. <laughs> oh, like if I was, shit. If I was the judge, oh, I would have. I can identify Alex's card so fucking <laughs> quick. <laughs> wow. Shots fucking fired. All right. <clears throat> You have a very specific type of humor, Alex. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, mine is, uh, I learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with blank. Oh, boy. This ought to be good. Um, kind of running out of shows to talk about. I mean, we could talk about interspecies reviewers, Wait. but Wait. show and I just recorded an entire episode about interspecies reviewers, which should be out soon. Actually, by the time this goes up, it probably already will be out because um, it's coming out on Monday. Um but um, I guess I could talk about Inspector because um, that was a show which I really wanted to like, and I kind of did, but I wanted to like it so much more than I did because it's got an interesting premise. It's got a, uh, it's got some really good character designs. It's got some really like the monsters in it are, are really kind of creepy ish. Um, I I don't know it just. The fir- the like the first three to four episodes are really really slow, and for like a supernatural kind of mystery, I I wanted it to get the ball rolling quicker than it did, and that's kind of why I had to give it. I think I ended up giving it a six, but really it's more like a six point five. What's with all the shows this season being really slow to like ramp up into? The I don't plot? know. I noticed that with a lot of shows this season, they were really the first few episodes were really slow. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, man. I mean, for if you have a long running show, then I'm I'm okay with it. But for a show that's only like twelve or thirteen episodes, I mean, you need to get the ball rolling quicker than that. Did anyone else actually watch it? Or no? no. I think oh. Chinoda did, right? Yeah, Chinoda did. And he actually really liked it, and I understand why he liked it. He just he kind of forgives it for its slow start. <laughs> I'm very unforgiving for shows that do that. Yeah, I know. Unless it's there's a point really to it. Good. Unless there's a oh, point to it. It, it can have a slow ramp up, but the the turning point needs to be really fucking good. Yeah, you know? yeah. All right. I learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with Daniel Radcliffe's delicious asshole. <laughs> or I learned the hard way you can't cheer up a grieving friend with court ordered rehab. Well, no, the second one is definitely true, but I gotta give it to Daniel Radcliffe's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> It makes no sense. It doesn't need to make sense. Oh it just, my god! <laughs> it just needs to fit whoever the judge is. You don't play this oh game my god. properly. All right. Uh, now we're tied, show for first. Tiebreaker. I don't have well, a first to seven. So yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Now, the now at the Smithsonian. Oh, you're the I'm yes. Judge. Hush. Look at me. Sorry. I'm the I'm captain. Getting, I'm getting now. ahead of myself. <laughs> Now at the Smithsonian, an interactive exhibit on blank. All right, uh, I am. I have one show left to talk about because I only watched five shows, and uh, that show is Infinite Dendigram. Oh boy! Now this is another show that I remember during our uh, preview. I did say, "Hey, this is something I read, and it's kind of okay." Uh, and it is kind of okay. Anime is not amazing. It's okay. Uh, I really like the ED song. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 boring, okay, but it's got its own little twist. It's about a full dive MMORPG, and it's uh-huh. this very same stereotypical. Oh, the NPCs in this world have like feelings and stuff like that, and the main character is someone who thinks the NPCs are real people, and that's kind of like the plot. Here are the people who believe in protecting NPCs. Here are the people who are like, fuck the NPCs, just kill them. They don't matter. <laughs> and it's very stereotypical, right? And in, in in the if you read any novel series that have the full dive MMO stuff, like I don't know, Legendary Moonlight Sculptor, that's a manhwa, or um Tuaru Osan VR MMO, like any of the other VR MMO series stuff, it's a very common trope that they use. Mm. So there's not anything really interesting in Infinite Dendigram other than I like the premise of how they do weapon stuff. Like each character, when you create your character, the AI scans your your personality and creates you creates a uh, what they call an embryo, 
that matches your personality. So your weapon becomes a living weapon or it can become a certain type of weapon. Like they have like maiden type weapons, living weapons, inorganic weapons. And it's cool. I really like that cool system. Uh, it's just a shame that it's not very actiony. There's not a lot of like amazing action scenes. It's not amazing sound design. There's no one thing about it that makes it a great show, but I still was entertained while I watched it. So that's really it. <laughs> I didn't even pick it up. <laughs> It's not a show that I think anyone needs to watch. It's something, again, just, hey, it's kind of a cool adventure type. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, who cares? I don't, I'm don't. i not going to be offended if you don't like it or you don't watch I it. I have a question, John. Since everything yeah. that you watched this last season was something that you read or had seen before in the case of, you know, Isekai Quartet, um, yeah. when, what's, when's the last time you actually watched an anime based on a piece of source material you had not read? <laughs> Science types fell in love. Oh, okay, okay. Did that... <laughs> I, I assume that you had read that before it aired. No, 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 no. That one was a whole new experience. I just wow. picked it up because I was like, oh, hey, look, a cute girl. <laughs> well, the main I girl really in that cute. show is cute as fuck. And I love the the ED and OP. It's really good. It's it's, mm. it's rom com stuff. <laughs> It's not as good as Wot Tokoi. Wot Tokoi is like god tier. Wot Tokoi is a god tier like romance anime. Or yeah, romance but anime. But Wot Tokoi was something that I read before I watched oh, too. God. So. All right, we called it the Sar of Source Material for a fucking reason. Yes. Okay? All right. Now at the Smithsonian, an interactive exhibit on pictures of boobs. When. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't even see that. Wow. I don't being fabulous, that's stupid. Pictures of boobs. <laughs> okay. Yay. I'm a simple man. I see Joking. boobs, I give a like. Exactly. <laughs> After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to get back to my roots to what inspired me to make music in the verse. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was really fast. <laughs> Uh, I've been waiting to play this card. <laughs> the only stuff that I've watched that we haven't talked about is Interspecies Reviewers and Castlevania, which I believe we're both doing or have done for like yeah, we're well, we we've all, you and I have already recorded the Interspecies Reviewers one, but we're definitely planning on talking about the first three seasons of Castlevania here soon. So yeah, I'll just say I enjoyed both. <laughs> um, I've only seen the first four episodes of Interspecies Reviewers, but. It's a hell of a lot looter than the manga, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I read I'm actually like reading the manga and up to date and all that. Oh wow. My younger brother has like I think yeah, he got volume three and I, I remember him asking if I wanted to read it and I was like, nah, I'll just keep reading the, the translations, but I'm essentially all caught up. And yeah, it's it's very formulaic in the manga, but it's still kind of funny. Mm. Uh but god damn that anime <laughs> is yeah. fucking lewd. It's porn. It's just porn. Mm -hmm. I can see why people fucking pulled it off the market. <laughs> After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to go back to my roots to what inspired me to make music in the first place. Man meat. Interesting. After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to go back to my roots to what inspired me to make music in the first place. The male gaze. I like this one. Both Damn of it. These, both of these have to do with men. Oh, was, there was another card that I knew would have won more. I knew it was Alex, but I chose it anyways. Wow. Yeah, I chose it because it didn't make sense, so it was funny. <laughs> I had another oh, one that actually would have made a lot more sense for show. Damn it. I played myself. I'm All right, wait well, to play the show card, though. And we'll go ahead and flip this over. Whoop, 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 whoop. In his new action comedy, Jackie Chan must fend off ninjas while also dealing with blank. So you're so fast. <laughs> so I do have one more anime that I definitely want to talk about that I watched. Um, Wait, actually, I think this card would be better. Um, and that's Hey Ya Camp or Room Camp, which was a short. Each episode was like three minutes long, um, and it's supposed to be like a it's supposed to be like a snack for you to 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 eat while you're waiting for the second season of Laid Back Camp. And it definitely it 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 served its purpose very well. It's very comfy, just like the show. And it's just a holdover until the second season comes around. Uh, the only thing, the only, uh, thing about it, I wish I got more of was best girl. Rin. She only appeared like a couple of times during the, 
the the show, but I will take what well, I got. Two minute episodes, man. Yeah, like two and a half minute episodes, but you got like a thirty second uh, ED. But I liked it. I mean, I just I fucking love the comfy shit like that. Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, in his new action comedy, Jackie Chan must fend off ninjas while also dealing with falling into the toilet. All right. In his new action comedy, Jackie Chan must fend off ninjas while also dealing with the Jews. All right. We know what's going to win here. <laughs> I know. I know your type of comedy. I, have I knew you would. All right. Oh, God. Who's who's winning? Right. So John's got six, I have five, and Show has six. So it's it's a close Time game. And break oh no! Oh no! Time so someone can actually win here. So Show could actually yeah, win this game. I could, except like I'm, the first time I've won on a fucking ACAD fucking game show. <laughs> do the do with your most extreme flavor yet. No, it's an exclamation. Do the do with your most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew blank. <laughs> uh, I don't really have another anime to review, though I guess it was an anime. So I watched um, Altered Carbon Season 2 came out. And then right after Season 2, I watched Altered Carbon Season 1, loved it. Season 2, it was okay. Um, then it came out with this animation called Resleeved, Altered Carbon Resleeved. Mm -hmm. And it's like 3D CGI bullshit. <laughs> but it, it is an anime. It's like it's Japanese, fully dubbed in Japanese, animated and stuff like that. Uh, but it, it was all right. Um, it's something that happens like it's something that happens that would make more sense if you watch it after season one, not after season two. Hmm. But I like the series. Uh, go read the books. They're really good. That's, that's really it. I actually haven't watched it yet, but Altered Carbon. Yeah. No, I've watched so Alter Carbon, but not the, the not Reese Second Leaved. season. No, I've seen yeah, but I've I've seen that, but I haven't seen Reese Leaved. Yeah, it's it's a movie. It's like an hour and a half. It's yeah. it's not bad. Okay, but it is three D CGI, so be prepared for that. I mean, I I liked Ultraman, so yeah, and it it takes place. It's like honestly, it's a prequel to season one and two. It makes more sense to be before season one. So it's almost but, like, it's so it's almost like a, a lead in to the to the story. Yeah, but okay. you can watch it before or after season one. Honestly, I think it makes more sense after season one, even though it takes place before season one. Okay, just because of like revelations that happen and stuff. But <clears throat> all right, do the do with your most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew, Kurt Cobain's death, Sugar Madness. Man, this one makes the most logical sense. Yay, oh, me! Damn it. <laughs> Come on. How does Kurt Cobain's death make any sense for Mountain Dew? I thought you'd think it was Alex. <laughs> wow. Honestly, I thought it was Alex. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you would give it to him. <laughs> no, but Kurt Cobain's death makes zero sense in the context of this. Girl, I don't know Kurt Cobain or his death. Kurt Cobain is... No, uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> the lead singer of Nirvana. Was the lead singer of Nirvana. If you so knew Courtney anything, Love I... killed him. And if you knew anything about me... I hate Nirvana. So you'd want to drink his death? No, I bottle. wouldn't. Yes, you would. Okay. To become a true Yano Mamo, I'm questioning that. Warrior, you must prove that you can withstand without crying out. I'm, actually, I want to Google that right now. <laughs> is that... What is Yano Mamo? I have no idea. You're the weeb. Oh, you should know. they're indigenous... To the Amazon between Venezuela and Brazil. Oh, they're the ones who do the um, getting bit by bullet ants. Wow, why do I know that? I don't know. I don't know Myers, either. Man. Yeah, I have nothing else to talk about. To become a true Yanomama warrior, you must prove that you can withstand fingering without crying out. That's funny. I like that. To become a true Yanomama warrior, you must prove that you can withstand my collection of high-tech sex toys without crying out. These are both good. And I don't know which one is John. This is what I would go with, though. That's Damn John. Yes! Oh! yes! John wins another game! Uh... <laughs> Cry. Uh... Cry. Uh... 
<laughs> and yet Honestly, again, I show would've... cannot win a game that we play. <laughs> Honestly, I would have went with the collection of sex toys personally. Oh my god. So Alex would have won if I was the judge. To... Wow, look at this. No, look at this. This is the one I just drew just for shits and giggles. It would have been so perfect. A sex combo of carnival penis. That's great. I still would have chose the high-tech sex toys and fingering over that, oh, though. Shit humor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I can't believe I won. Congratulations. Yes, flip <laughs> yeah, the table, right. John. Flip the fucking table. Although I just like realized I can just out. do this. I'd like to just point out <laughs> that prior to me winning, I only had two cards. Alex had like three and Sho had five. I was <laughs> I was the underdog this entire time. Oh my god. Yes, John, you're so good at games. So, so good that's at right. So so, good at anime, good at sauce. I'm just so, good at everything. Speaking of, of flipping the table, the next time we, we actually do uh, a tabletop simulator game, I have a waifu monopoly thing that I downloaded from the workshop. Oh god, that's what yes. we should play. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take forever. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Although, you can always flip the table. Well, if it flips the table first, loser. Yeah. Uh, literally enter the game and just flip the table. I don't know. I don't know if I can pull you guys in here without kicking you out. I think if I do a new game, it kicks you out. No, it doesn't. Okay. Nope. What is what? Yeah, this is Waifu oh. Monopoly. Oh. It's, it's basically like claiming cards. waifus the game. Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Assets all complete. What? Whoa. <laughs> show, I swear to God. <laughs> Fuck you, Show. <laughs> this is why we can't play games with you. Could you fucking do this shit? <laughs> the table right. is still flying now. But anyway, we should play this next time. I think it'll be fun. Oh. Wait, where's Boardwalk? I want to see who they put for the Boardwalk wipe. <gasps> Yoko Littner from Gurren Lagann. <laughs> Uh, so what Yoko, why are these crease would make the, sense but like yoko uh, what is the commonality between these two between all these people is there any commonality i don't think there is any i think they just randomly put waifus in here no Pretty no, no, much. no this is quite obviously a ranking chart because this is boardwalk and this is uh that other one park place park place and boardwalk. okay yeah but like there's no reason why yoko is with monkeys the like they didn't have no relation to each other. There's no reason why no, they're both blue. I'm saying because yeah, of I think so. Yes, I see higher that. Yeah. property prices. These uh -huh. are obviously jabs at ranking your waifus. Yes. yes. And Stella Vermilion obviously belongs in the doo doo fucking brown pieces. No one cares about that. Chion and Yusa definitely belong here. Yeah. I don't even know why Chio is here. She's not honestly a yeah, waifu. She I don't gets cut super know hard. Either. Via Skemory, yeah, in the middle, that's fine. Uh, Takao, Takeo, no, she's she's way higher than Elizabeth. How dare you? Excuse me, Jibril should be higher than any of these bitches. Oh, whoa, Erza, yeah, no, take take these off. No, take these out. What is this red? This is red. It's garbage. All garbage. Uh, Ravi's pretty good there. I think she honestly should be above um, Ryuko. Uh, Sento is pretty. I, yeah, Sento's okay too. I, I'm okay with her. Uh, Shiryuki, Selty need to be kicked down. Why is Shiryuki here? Shiryuki's shit. <laughs> yeah, they should be kicked down the board. All right, Birdie. Oh, yeah, Birdie's pretty good up here. I agree with everything here except the Yoko and Shiryuki and Selty. We should move Revy and Sento up. This entire red should be replaced by the orange, quite honestly. Uh huh. And then, no. honestly, everything beyond orange, I don't really care about. They're all the same tier to me. <laughs> I like this one. This one should be blue. Shura. I do like I how in the, in this in this there. board, like the the railroads are replaced with deres. Can I move the board? How do you move the board? You how don't. Do you... It's stuck to the table. Well, then why did it flip off when we flipped the table? I don't know. I didn't make what do you this. Mean, how do you move the board? Oh, you you do even... by doing this. Oh, Wait, no. but where'd the board go? I, I have know. it. I'm holding it. No. No. Where was it? Oh. Oh. oh I got oh. it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> no, it's mine. No, it's mine. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> We're having way too much fun with this shit. No. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is 
stupid. Anyway, right. thank you all for coming in to join. <laughs> for coming in to join us. We probably we might play Wife of Monopoly next time we go on stream like this. Um, maybe we'll do it for our next game night. I don't know. Um, or alternatively, we could play Bloody Trap Land. <laughs> Bloody trap land, yes. <laughs> you you and I were playing that last night, and I died many times. Oh, yeah. You're so trash at the game. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for dropping in to listen to us. We hope you enjoyed it, because we always enjoy bringing this stuff to you. As always, I have been your host, Alex, and I will see you next time. Say goodnight, everybody. Stop playing goodnight, with the fucking everybody. board. Never. My board. <laughs>